Hi, my name is Felon Longmore, and this is Stained the Glass, Empty the Warrens. So, this is uh, Empty the Warrens, uh, Stained Glass Storm uh, Altar. This is a card that's played in Modern and Legacy versions of Storm. Uh, it is also played in a couple versions of Legacy. You can see it in Belcher, you can see it in uh, Regular Storm, Tess, Ant. Um, as far as Modern goes, it's really only in one deck. It is in the uh, the Modern Storm deck, known as Storm. <laughs> so, uh, first thing we're going to do, <coughs> we're going to put down the base layer of paint, uh, Sharpie Paint Pin. Once we're done doing that, we're going to extend the warm colors. Uh, and this is warm colors. Warm colors go very well together. Yellow, orange, red, and emphasizing maybe some browns and some other extremes off of the end of that. Maybe pink going into lighter. But with this one, it's really, you know, the colors of fire and warmth uh, when it comes down to that. And, um... When doing that, um, and one thing that you uh, that I can note here that you might have just saw is a, a, for a, a quick second, and there was a Zacto knife that was shown, and uh, you can use a toothpick or you can use a Zacto knife. Uh, if you extend paint over a part of the card, you don't want it. Like if it goes past the border and it smudges and you want to get it off, you can use a Zacto knife uh, or you can use uh, a toothpick and get the get the toothpick uh, the end of the toothpick wet. Um, and get the paint off, and um, I use a Zacto knife sometimes because I, I've done this enough that I feel comfortable doing that. Uh, I wouldn't recommend starting out with a Zacto knife, but sometimes the paint comes off faster uh, if it's being a little more stubborn and you can scratch it off with a Zacto knife, but you have to be careful because you don't want to scratch the surface of the card. But if you get uh, if you get paint on some part of the card you don't want, a uh, toothpick, uh, you can scratch it off, the acrylic paint, uh, you get it wet and you just scratch it off and you can fix uh, any issue on the card that you can with paint that might happen. Uh, but going back to Empty the Warrens itself, it's really just it's putting down the paint, emphasizing the warm colors, and then once you get to the point of drawing in the lines, um, that's what you do. You draw in the lines. And uh, you can make the lines as big or as small or minute or as thick as you want as far as uh, you know the, the, the size of the stained glass goes. The bigger the pieces of the stained glass, uh, the less lines you have to draw in. That will save time. But I like drawing in a lot of little ones because I'm out of my mind. Uh, and and I, guess I guess that's... There's nothing else to add to that. That is empty the warrens, and uh, you just put on paint, you draw on your lines, uh, and hopefully, you know, the toothpick trip will, uh, toothpick tip trick will help uh, in any endeavors if you're doing uh, if you're doing alters and you get paint on a part of the card you don't want it on. So uh, that is it, and um, empty the warrens, stained glass alters. Uh, if you're doing storm, if that helps you out, that's that's awesome. And if it doesn't, thank you for watching and still being here. And uh, hopefully, we will see you in the next one. And I'm gonna go away now. Yeah, you.